we are proud to have from the DMC, the Director of Community Affairs, Ms. Tanita Cheatham. Good morning. Well, good morning, Mason, and hello to your listening audience. I'm so honored to be here today. Always good to have you. Always doing good in the hood with the DMC. I want to ask you about the DMC support in the community, both in terms of health and beyond health care. Well, you know, our first priority is to provide quality breakthrough health care that is accessible to anyone who comes to us seeking medical attention, regardless of their ability to pay. Our dedicated clinicians are among the best trained because we treat and take care of some of the area's sickest patients with very complex health conditions. So this approach uh, we have always followed, it hasn't changed. And so the result is an established track record of providing great specialized care. That's why we're here. In addition, we know that healthcare does not start at the hospital. It usually starts where you are in the community. So the question then is how do we show up as a good corporate citizen in this space, right? We do this through providing, uh, having an intentional alignment with people in this great community. We are very fortunate to have longstanding partnerships with area leaders in business, community, grassroots organizations, health-related and educational institutions, as well as a lot of relationships with pastors and churches. Our partners invite us and they trust us to provide health and wellness education to their side audiences. So this could look like health screenings, this could look like educational sessions, it could look like insurance enrollments, vaccines and immunizations, among other things. And then in addition, we also provide a lot of sponsorships to various local uh, nonprofits and charities. So that's how we really show up uh, in addition to being a great healthcare institution beyond the walls, because we do also understand healthcare is in the community. Anita Cheatham, who is with us from the DMC, Director of Community Affairs. DMC, for over 15 years, you've seen a lot. You've been there. You've had your boots on the ground. Tell us how the commitment to our city continues to grow over the years. You know, DMC's commit. First of all, I've been honored to be a part of the Detroit Medical Center for 17 years, and a person who uh, commits that much time to something obviously has a passion for it. Uh, and hopefully they can become good at it, right? Uh, but part of our success uh, as institution is, is attributed to our capability to remain adaptable to the health, wellness, and educational needs of our community. Take for instance, the pandemic. Uh, in addition to providing great clinical care in the hospital, we were also interfacing with the community, providing vital COVID-19 education, uh, health education and screens, uh, along with introducing our medical experts to community groups to answer whatever questions they may have had about the, uh, the virus at the time. And then later, of course, we helped provide thousands of vaccines to Detroit residents. Um, another example, uh, which was very famous, is how we showed up and assisted thousands of people to enroll in healthcare. We had that tremendous insurance enrollment campaign that went on for about three years. Uh, we were in churches, barbershops, hair salons, restaurants, uh, any place you name pretty much in the city, we were there. Our success is our unique ability to continue to adapt to the needs of our community, be it in the hospital or in the community. Anita Cheatham with us, Director of Community Affairs for the DMC. What would be the most uh, surprise people would have about the DMC's commitment to the community? Although you've ran down a lot, but what would be the big surprise? You know, the DMC has always been a healthcare system of medical breakthroughs, always. We were the first uh, hospital health system in the country to complete open heart surgery. We had uh, or have, uh, we started the first burn center. We, Detroit Medical Center, had the first certified stroke center and Michigan's first level one trauma center. You know, great things uh, that happened at Children's Hospital is that, you know, we opened our first level one neurological neonatal intensive care before anybody else in the state. And as you know, Hudson Women's Hospital was the first solely an independent women's hospital created uh, back in the 1800s for women, taking care of the needs of women. And then, you know, other things like we train more residents than anybody else within this region and other tremendous medical breakthroughs that we've done in the past. It's those things that uh, people, you know, sometimes when you hear about things in the news about medical institutions, you can kind of lose sight of the uh, foundational truths of the institution. 
And the truth is the Detroit Medical Center has provided breakthrough medicine for many years. We've been in operation for over 150 years and we have been conti we continue to provide that breakthrough, uh, excellent uh, uh, technical and clinical care to the residents of the Detroit community. We want to thank Tanita Cheatham for working with us today and giving us information about the community. She is the Director of Community Affairs for the DMC, Tanita Cheatham. Thank you again for joining us today. Mason, thank you so much for having us and thank you for doing all that you do for so many years to create a platform for people like us to be able to talk about what we do for the community. Thank you for that connectivity.